Hi, this is John again for Outstanding Poker. Today I've got a nice, simple, fairly short video on how to build your own heads-up display using uh, the brand new Poker Tracker 4 software. So it is pretty simple. So let's get into it. So we go into HUD, Edit HUD Profiles, and uh, if you want to just create one from scratch, you would just choose options and new profile and give it give it a new profile name. The only problem is if you do that, you're creating a HUD from scratch. For some reason, then you have to recreate or create new pop-ups to go with this new uh, HUD profile, which is obviously going to be very time consuming. So the best way to do it is to just use one of the use the default and then just duplicate duplicate that because then all the pop-ups that uh, Poker Tracker 4 have created are already accessible through that profile and I do think that Poker Tracker 4 pop-ups are better than the Hold Manager 2 ones I just like how they've got like the street by street stats and I think I, even though I use Hold Manager 2 I might actually just recreate the poker tracker for pop-ups and just use them in that kind of style or that kind of layout layout on holder manager too so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the default so we'll give it a new name we'll give it that's op we'll call it op and uh, we're going to start from scratch so let's have a look we'll just delete everything and then just put it all on again so i can show you how to do it so now it's time from scratch. Easily we're just pressing add and then add a statistic. Let's have a look. We're going to add like VPIP, preflop raise, attempt to steal, fold to steal. And on the second line we're going to have three bet aggression factor, continuation bet flop, and went to showdown. I think that those are the stats I use on my my hood and I really I just really like having them stats to be, I like being able to see them stats all the time basically. So let's look for VPIP. We'll just well, I found preflop, so we'll just put that on first. Because we can change it around after. So I'll just take a bit of time putting these on. There as regards to all the stats, there is plenty of stats with Poker Tracker 4, but there's nowhere near as many uh, stats as what there is on Holder Manager 2. In fact, on Holder Manager 2 there's perhaps a bit might be a bit too many because sometimes it's really difficult to find the stats that you actually need. Although I do prefer having all the stats there available. And also with um, all the money too, if there isn't a stat there that you... If there's a stat that you can't find, you can always create yourself with Note Tracker for... Not Note Tracker, Note Caddy. Sorry. So what's the next one? Attempt to steal. Well, fold steals there, we'll put in that one. Attempt steal, there we go, and then we're going to add another line. There we go, so we're on to the second line now, so we click on this one, add a statistic, we're still in pre-flop because we're going to be adding a 3-bet standard uh, statistic. Now we want aggression factor which is in, uh, let me think, comprehensive total aggression factor, or you can have aggression frequency. Oops, add statistic. Continuation bet flop is in bets. Went to show down there, finally. So yeah, if you want to change a uh, stat around, quite easy, just drag and drop. And also you need to add the note editor as well, which is just here. 